Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm back in Pet Simulator 99 and I'm going to be giving you guys some tips and tricks to prepare for the new world that is coming to Pet Simulator 99. So this isn't going to be like an extension to some more zones. There's going to be a whole new void world. Now um, I did go over a bunch of the leaks in the video I posted yesterday. So if you want to go watch that, make sure to watch it. I won't be going over many of those leaks because I already showed most of those. I'll go over some of the main ones again, but this one's mostly just about how to prepare for the update. So anyways, one of the things that um, aren't really going to matter is coins. Now, what I'm guessing they will do is just keep this in mind. They're most likely going to add a rebirth in this final zone, like right here, just like what they did in World 1. They added a rebirth right here. I'm guessing they'll do that again here because they do that every single, every 25 zones. Like as you can see right here, there's a rebirth shine. I can actually just search up. Uh, if I could spell rebirth so yeah it goes 25 50 75 there's gonna be one in this zone more than likely I can almost guarantee it so you will hopefully you're in the final zone by now I mean it's you've had three weeks or something to get here so hopefully you're here by now um but yeah so once you're here I mean you don't really need coins for anything I'm not gonna lie if you already have you don't really need coins in general cuz I mean you can use coins to open this egg but after you get the coins, I mean, you could just buy a pet in the final zone, um, but there will not be a cost to go into the portal, at least if it's anything like the this, to get into this zone, if you remember, back in Spawn World, there was no cost to actually come to Tech World. Um, there was a rebirth in the final zone, like I said, but there was no cost. You just had to, I think you did have to have your rebirth. Um, I could be wrong about that. I'm pretty sure you did have to have the rebirth that was in that zone in order to come here. I feel like they did that. I could be wrong though, but as you can see, if I go ahead and go on over to the Rainbow Road, there was, actually, I guess you won't be able to, there was not really, oh yeah, it does say Rebirth 4 was required, so I'm guessing they're going to do that same thing where it's not going to cost coins or anything, but it will cost a Rebirth to go. So, yeah, you will have to grind a little bit like that. Now, there's not really much things out of the normal you can really do inventory-wise to repair. I mean, obviously, the more huges and stuff you have, the better, the faster and stronger your pets and will be able to break stuff. Um, and make sure, make sure you have fruits and all that because, obviously, all of that kind of stuff will help. But you probably are already predicting or already knowing about to use all of these ones. I just accidentally <laughs> used all my toy bones. Whoops. Um, it is good to get the new best potions. These can cost a tiny bit, but honestly, they are worth it. I don't buy them, and I probably should be. I need to go out and buy some more treasure ones because I'm almost out of treasure hunter potions. It's a little little expensive I'm not gonna lie but um yeah so that's one of the ways to prepare right there now in the new zones that were the whole this is going to be different than the um tech world though this is going to be completely different because this isn't going to be like when we go through this um portal it's not going to bring us to a whole new world it's going to bring us to the void now we actually do not know what the void looks like at all that they, they haven't leaked that at all but in the picture I showed yesterday, I don't know why it's not loading, but in the picture I actually showed yesterday, they showed what one of the new zones will be. And right here, there's a portal, there's a, there's a cannon that says to go back to the void. So I'm guessing it'll be just like the void in Petsimex. Now, I'm hoping it's at least a little bit different than that, but... um. Yeah, I'm guessing that what the case will be is that there will be a void and there'll be different portals there to go because if we look back at that picture, there's only four eggs there. So now the eggs do cost coins, but to get to the next zones, they actually don't. They cost, they, they do quests. So this means that you're no longer really going to have a full on use for coins. You'll still need coins to hatch pets, but honestly... I think it's better just to get looted up on stuff to help break stuff. Like, I'm probably going to, like, take out, I don't know, Treasure Hunter or two and add a Critics or a Strong Pet. Something like that. We'll just have to see. But, um, yeah, that. so just keep that in mind. It'll be like you're going to the Void, which will not look nothing like the Tech World. And then there'll be portals there to go to different places. It looks like the first world is like a prison-type world. So that'll be pretty cool to see. It means that they might have... Uh, new world updates more than once every month like what they've been doing but we'll just have to see also kind of looking at it, it makes perfect sense for a rebirth to be right here like it's super out and you can go all the way over here it would just make sense so yeah they're definitely gonna have a rebirth right here I am very excited for this new zone let me know in the comment sections if you guys are too 
Now, as of loot and all that wise, they're not is there isn't really gonna be any new like there's obviously gonna be new currencies and new keys, so you might want to keep that in mind. But besides that, it's just gonna be like a normal couple new zones are coming. So obviously, getting a better enchant layout, getting a better ultimate, which I definitely need to do. I'm always too too lazy or too broke to go out and buy a new ultimate. So I really do need to go get like a treasure drops ornament or uh ultimate or something because my ultimates are not very good right now but anyways besides that i mean yeah as long as you have good items pets it's all you just have to keep getting a better pet team i'm not gonna lie but um yeah we don't have any leaks of the void as of right now which is kind of sad i am checking to see if there's any leaks that we don't know about that i didn't show already in my video yesterday it doesn't seem like that there is going to be some new hoverboards and huge pets but besides that there's not really going to be anything else um it'll just be like a void but it will be pretty cool so make sure to tell me in the comment section down below if you are prepared for this update or not i mean like i said there's not really much else you can do besides from what i've said to prepare obviously getting your masters up is a very very good way to do it that's a lot of people do not talk about now i am so close to getting my mastery of coin breakables max and this is going to help a lot. I'm not going to lie. Look at this. Plus 100% breakable response speed. I can add 21 more flag spots. I can have 50% chance for mini chests. 2x flag duration. And 5x loot for mini chests. This is going to help a ton. I'm super excited that this is finally going to get max. It is taken forever i'm not gonna lie but some of the ones you want to if you're trying to get through the new zones fast and become pretty good at the game very fast when the update comes out one of the couple of the best ones you want to have up are potions enchants breakables fruits maybe eggs if you hatch maybe pet masteries but besides that the gifts mastery is only good if you're going to open like the inventory gifts and these other ones aren't necessary for you know doing better in that sort of thing i wonder if i should spend a little bit of robux on this to try to get up there i don't know i feel like this isn't worth it all i've never got anything good from this but this is the backrooms event is going to be leaving next i'm assuming it's leaving tomorrow or when the update comes out now i could be wrong about that but i'm like almost positive it is but another thing I did want to say is that if you are, if you're winning, it depends on actually when you're watching this, but if you're watching this before the updates are out, or maybe a little bit close to when the update's already been out, um, you definitely, this is a good time to buy stuff, just want to let you guys know that if you like to buy stuff, or if you're looking for huges, now is a perfect time, because stuff is lower than it will be. Um, stuff or what I mean by that is basically stuff is going to go up a little bit soon. So I definitely recommend getting huges and stuff if you haven't already because stuff, I mean, it hasn't dropped too much, but stuff has dropped a bit right now and it probably will go up. So this is probably a good time to buy a huge if you haven't already. I just bought this rainbow huge leprechaun cap. Actually, I bought it a little bit ago for 300 million gems. So hopefully that goes up a little bit. I'm also just trying to get a team of rainbow huges. Obviously, I got a long way to go, but hey, maybe someday I'll be able to do that. But hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, like and subscribe. I am doing a giveaway on my Discord server right now. The link is in the description. And uh, yeah, link to my Roblox is also in the description. Have an amazing rest of your day, everybody. Goodbye.